Hi guys, it's me, Sammy, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I hope you're all having an amazing day. I had an absolutely fabulous time yesterday celebrating my birthday early with my friends and my family's at a little barbecue at my house. I did vlog it, and there should be a vlog up very soon of how I celebrated my birthday. Um, it was all very, very exciting. Um, but this is the way that I did my makeup and my hair as well um, for it. So I thought I would just sit down today and do another little recreation and show you exactly how I did my makeup for my birthday using all of my favorite products at the moment so yeah cannot believe I'm turning 25 tomorrow that seems really really unreal to me um, even though I'm married have two kids like I still don't feel old enough to be 25 um, but yeah I absolutely had the best time ever, I got spoilt rotten, so yeah, expect some vlogs and some other birthday related content coming soon. Um, but first off, my hair is just up in a high pony and I curled it and I kept two bits down, curled them and then I tucked them behind my ear. And that is how I created my hairstyle um, and yeah. Stay tuned guys um, to see how I created this makeup look. If you like this video, don't forget to smash the thumbs up button, subscribe down below, and go follow me over on Instagram at it's Sammy Lou. And without further ado, guys, let's jump into the video. To start off with primer, I'm gonna use the Avant Pro Collagen Primer, which I got in one of my recent glossy boxes. This is actually worth £85, which is crazy, but it's actually so good. So it's what I use for like special occasions and stuff and birthdays count as a special occasion so I'm just going to pop a bit on my fingers and then I'm just going to rub that in this is actually one of the best primers I've used and I can feel and see the difference when I use this one so I would say it's probably worth the money but I don't know, if it wasn't for the glossy box, I wouldn't have got the primer for £85, if I'm completely honest with you guys. <laughs> but it is a product that I'm loving, so I can't deny that I've been loving it and using it a lot recently. So that's primer done. For foundation, I'm going to go in with my favourite foundation at the moment, and that is the EX1 Invisiwear Liquid Foundation. It is incredible. Um, I am sort of in between shades at the moment. Um, actually like I should probably get the one in between these two but I've just been too lazy to go to the shop um, so this is 3.5 and this is my summer tan shade and this is 2.0 and this is my winter shade so I need sort of one drop of that and two drops of this at the moment which will probably make the three in the middle um, but I've just been too lazy to go to the shop and buy it <laughs> the coverage the feel of this it's so so nice and they get their like undertone spot on with their foundations so highly recommend if you haven't picked these up yet or tried them highly recommend them they are about £12.50 I think in Boots but they're sometimes on special offer and stuff like that but I think £12.50 from Boots and also um, on their website as well so highly recommend checking these out guys their foundations are so nice that is a foundation done and I love their colour match on their foundation, it's so so nice. Um, next I'm going to go in again with another EX1 product, I really love EX1 at the moment, they are smashing it, so you're going to probably see a fair few items from EX1, um, but this is the Delete Fluid Concealer and Huda Beauty raves about this, um, she loves it as well, I cannot remember the price of it, but I think it's around £9. Um, and yeah, it is incredible. It's like a pump bottle as well, and I always use just like one squeeze, and that will do my entire face. And it's just, it's really good coverage, and I just really love the formula. I've got really dry under eyes, and this really helps to not dry them out, so highly recommend if you get like dry under eyes with concealer. Now for powder, again, you're gonna get bored of me saying this, it's not sponsored by X1, I swear. Um, but this is the X1 Invisiwear Compact Powder and it's in the shade 2.0 again. I'm just gonna go in and dust my face. But this like little tub is really cute because like when you open it, like the sponge sticks out like a little tongue at the bottom. Look. <laughs> 
so it does actually come with a little sponge which I use sometimes but I'm just going to go in with my brush today just swirl it and powder down my whole face now I'm going to go in with my bronzer and it's not a EX1 product <laughs> um, it's the Hoola Benefit Bronzer of course just the original shade and I love this just going in with a Hit them cheeks. I just love this bronzer, it just like never fails me and I like that I can trust it to do the job. <laughs> I actually went through so many samples and so many like little minis of the hood bronzer until my auntie got me this. So thank you to my auntie for that. I very much appreciate it. <laughs> now I'm gonna go in with the last EX1 product, <laughs> but this is the EX1 blusher in the shade Natural Flush and these blushes are all I will use normally for blusher. If um, I'm not doing like a testing video or anything like that, these are the blushes that I use. I love them so much. I've been using it for the longest time and it's barely even made a dent, but I do have backups of this one and the Pretty in Peach shade as well, which is a lovely peach colour. Um, and yeah, I just, I have these ones open and then I have one more of each on standby because I just never want to run out. And when I'm qualified, these are going to be the blushes that are in my kit for sure. They're so, so nice. So moving on to highlighter next, and I know this makeup look is a mix of high-end and sort of affordable brands as well, but that is just genuinely what I love to use. Um, highlighter is no different, I have one of each that I actually like to combine to get like a really nice highlighter. Um, this is the Ofra highlighter, it's the Nikki Tutorials collab in the shade Glazed Donut. Um, I love this more than anything, but it's slightly too pale for me at the moment. Um, so what I'd like to do is I like to mix it with the Revolution Reloaded Highlighter in just my type, which is a bit more of a champagne-y one, but I love both of them combined. So let me show you what I mean. Let's go in with the Ofra. She's just so pretty. <sighs> but it's slightly too fair for me at the moment. Um, but she is so, so nice. Then I like just to go in with a little bit of the Revolution one on top. And that is like the perfect combo for me for my highlighter and I love it. Next we'll do some brows, um, again a bit of a mix, I really like the Arbonne eyebrow gel which is a little bit more expensive, I think it's about £20, £25 um, and the Revolution Pro Duo Brow Powder which I don't actually remember how much it was, maybe around a fiver probably, something like that, um, but it's Revolution, it's not going to be crazy expensive so I'm just going to brush my brows with a spoolie and then go in with the darker shade and then I'll pop the lighter shade on the inner corner as well and just brush that through my brows and go with the lighter shade hit that inner corner so then you've got the gradient love that these powders are so good as well and they come in like so many shades and like they match so nicely to actual hair colours. I find so many powders and so many brow products just aren't matching to like real hair. I feel like I look at it and I'm like, whose hair is actually this kind of colour? But yeah, no, these are a great, great match. And then I just brush through to make it a little bit more natural looking. And then go in with the brow gel to finish off. Also, I'll just like to go in 
with a little brush and the highlighter and just do my brow bone. Just to lift the brow bone a little bit. So my eye look that I like to use, again, is a mix of high-end <laughs> and drugstore. Um, so I've got the Naked um, Urban Decay Cherry Palette and then I've got the Revolution Foil Frenzy. And I like to use one shade from this, so you could probably find a high-end, like a drugstore dupe for it. Um, and then I go in with a couple of these. But I just love the formula of these and they blend so nicely. So I'm not going to lie to you and say it's not a good palette and it's not worth the money because it definitely is. But you probably could find a drugstore dupe for the shade. I go in with the shade Feels, which is this kind of dusty pink colour here. And then what I do is I just go in with a fluffy brush and I run it into my crease and just into the inner corner as well and I just like fill it up just load it up and I literally just use that one shade and I'm just going to run it back and forth back and forth going with a little bit more colour to deepen it and then just buff it out so it fades into nothing at the top that's the plan and just get like an overall like look like that which is sort of nice. So that is that look. I'm also gonna just, this is a duo end brush. I'm just gonna take the smaller brush on the bottom and run the same color under my lash line as well. Now, going in with the foiled frenzy, I'm gonna use my finger for this. So I'm gonna go in with um, these two shades at the top here. So I'm gonna go in with this pink first and I'm gonna run it on my lid. And then I'm gonna create like a spotlight eye this one just on the very center of my lid to make that kind of dimension on my eyelid so let's see how that goes these are insane but you really do need to put them on with your finger like like the foiling on them is insane so highly recommend getting these if you haven't picked one up already i think it's eight pounds not the best on a brush, but if you're applying with your finger, it's so, so lovely. And then going in with the champagne colour, again like, in one swipe, like, This is like my ultimate birthday look. Like I love pink, I love shimmers. This is the ideal look for my birthday. <laughs> I also got loads of compliments on my nails yesterday as well. So if you are wondering what nail varnish I'm wearing, it is the Avon Nail Style Studio Mineral Crush in the shade Rose Quartz. So, so cute. And like these glitter nail varnishes are actually glittery. Like they actually full on look glittery they are lovely they're not like the glitter nail varnishes where you paint it on and it's like a clear nail varnish with some sequins in it it's like legitimately like full color glitter nails so so yeah definitely check out the avon mineral crush nail varnishes if you love a glitter nail now that my eyeshadow is done i'm just going to curl my lashes with the rose gold Fur Lashes Lash Curlers. Again, these came in the birthday edition of the Glossy Box and I'm obsessed with them. Like the colour goes so nicely with my desk. And my favourite mascara at the moment is the Ico Black Magic Mascara. I've only got like this little trial size at the moment. I definitely do need to get another full size one. Um, but yeah, I love this mascara so much. And I love the wand as well. It's a curled wand, which I love. Um, now I'm going to go and do my winged liner. I use the Poundland Makeup Gallery eyeliner. I love it so much. It's really, really black. It's really liquidy, really easy to work with, an amazing brush on it. And yeah, it just makes eyeliner so much easier. I'm actually going to zoom you in right now though so you can see up close how I do my liquid eyeliner. So this is me up close and personal. How's my makeup looking? Do you like it? <laughs> Um, I am going to do my eyeliner now, so let's see how that goes. 
Um, start off, I just like to wipe off the brush on the edges just so that I don't have like too much product. Um, I like to go from the corner of my eyelid and I like to just draw a line out towards just below where my eyebrow ends. So I like to just do it up in that kind of direction. Like a little line from the corner of my eye outwards, like that. Then what I do is I draw a line on the other side to be symmetrical and that's a good way of checking if they're gonna line up and be the same before you fully commit and finish the wings. <laughs> right, so they're the same. So now what I can do is I'm gonna draw the line across the top of my eyelid and how I do that again is I'm gonna dunk in, dunk in, wipe off the excess, start from the inner corner of my eye Again, this step is so much easier when you have a really good eyeliner. So this is why I like this one so much. I can normally always do it in one sweep. I'm gonna go back in and just edit the line slightly so it's all the same width. And I like to leave it about there. So like in line with the outer color of my eye, there. Now I'm going to do the other eye and make sure that that's even as well. So that is the two eyes even so far. Now what we need to do is we need to connect, oh, connect. We need to connect the outer line into where we've left that line off. So I'm just going to do that now. Going from the outside inwards. then just gonna color in that line. So that is my wing liner done guys. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pop on some lashes. I've got my Ardell Demi Wispies. Um, I lost the packet for these ages ago so they're just in with another pair of lashes at the minute. Um, but these are my Ardell Demi Wispies and I use the House of Lashes Lash Glue. A great tip for putting on lashes is to allow the glue to dry slightly before putting them on. So yeah, we're just gonna leave these to dry for a second. And these are already cut for me because I've worn them before and cleaned them. So they're already fit for my eye, but normally you have to like clip them down to your eye size. A great tip for clipping lashes actually is to use nail clippers like from the outside and clip them inwards. That way you get a really precise cut and um, it doesn't bend them or anything like scissors can. Right now to attach these, I'm gonna look down like my head like that with my eye down that way you get like a straight eyelid line um, and then just holding it from the outer corner I like to place it down where I want it on the outer corner then push it in in the middle where I'd like it and then going in with some tweezers I will pull it down and attach it in the center Obviously because we have the black wing eyeliner down, I don't have to worry about lines or gaps or anything like that where it's going to show because it's obviously going to cover all of that base, but that is that eyelash on. So that is lashes done and now for the final step I'm going to be using the Hue the Beauty lip strobe in the shade Angelic. This is absolutely stunning. Like. It's my new favourite go-to if I'm ever going out or having a party or anything. It's so, so pretty. Hello. So, so stunning. So guys, this is the finished makeup look. 
This is my go-to birthday makeup look that I was wearing at my family barbecue to celebrate my birthday yesterday. I will leave all of the products that I used down below for you guys in case you want to check any of them out. Let me know what your favourite part of this look is down in the comments guys and thank you so so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe down below and go follow me over on Instagram at it's Sammy Lou. I'll leave the link in the description for you guys and yeah thanks so much for watching. Hopefully I will see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.